Well, welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you just about 3.30. Yeah, and time now to shine a local spotlight on the Pearland Little Leaguers. They had another incredible win last night against Pennsylvania. And, of course, we are proud of them here in Houston. These boys are making national attention, as they should. And one play in particular from last night was the number one play of the day on ESPN Sports Center. The caption from the Little League's Twitter page says it all. Hang it in the Louvre. Corey Kahn was the player behind that home run robbery, basically a snow cone catch. Everybody thought it was over the fence, but Corey reached up and snagged it. Joining us now on Houston Life are Corey's parents, Jennifer and John Kahn. Hey, guys, I know that you're so excited. Hi. Hey, hey, how are y'all? We are doing great. It is so great that you guys made time for us today. How does it feel that Corey is making national headlines? It's pretty incredible. I, it was a dream of his. Um, he's always liked playing outfield because he's always dreamed of robbing a home run. <laughs> and to do it at this stage is he's just still processing it. He is. Well, and you have some extra children, right? Uh, you have five children. How are they, or Corey has five siblings, how are they feeling about all of this excitement? Oh, they are all super excited. Um, our oldest son is away at college, but he's been a huge part of helping Corey. You know, they go out and they, they have batting practice together, catching practice together, pitching back and forth to each other. So, uh, and he's been with us the whole summer up until he went and we, we moved him into college like two months ago. I mean, sorry, two weeks ago. So he's really sad, I know, to miss this, but he's busy with um, his own football and sports that he's doing at Texas Lutheran. Well, it is so awesome. The other and kids are also doing really well, too. That is so great. And I know this is this is such an important time, not only for Corey's life, but for y'all as well. And Jen, I saw you on the TV multiple times uh, during the series, and I just want to let everybody know, you and I are friends. We've known each other for a number of years, and I scream every time I see you, yes. and I'm so excited. <laughs> have you had a chance to talk to Corey? I know the players and, and you know, they keep them isolated from y'all, but have you had a chance to chat with him at all? We have. Um, we, well, we have talked to him. Uh, we get to see him after the games, but we, they also do have a little bit of free time during the day. But the last couple of days, he's not wanted to come with us to go to lunch. He's really actually wanted to hang out uh, with all the other players that are here. And they have an, they're in a dorm uh, that has a great player activity center, I guess, where they can play wiffle ball and ping pong and video games. And um, so he really enjoys hanging out there and then coming to the baseball games and watching all of his friends now, his new friends, play on this, this field. Oh, it sounds like he and, is living and he's his found best some girls that life. he likes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Keep the eye on the oh, game. Oh, no. <laughs> got to focus on the game. Hey, John, uh, we got to point out this really incredible bright orange stash you are rocking. Tell us the story behind it because I understand you and some of the dads made a deal during regionals. Yes, and we were in regionals and one of the dads, Jeremy Richardson, he's a principal at Pasadena Memorial. He had grown out a mustache because their theme back to school was Top Gun. And we, we made a deal that, hey, if we get to Williamsport, we're going to sport the mustaches. And then we had uh, Melody Shelton, Caden Shelton's mom, went and got the orange <laughs> hairspray. And now we're meeting and and getting ready for game time and we're not changing anything now. No. So no. now we're, we've got the orange sashes with the dads. Hopefully after all this, the sashes will be gone though. I think where uh, <laughs> all the wives are like, <laughs> we're, oh, keep uh, we're okay to not have them, but we can't change anything. <laughs> right. Well, it is awesome. We love catching up with you. And it's so great, too. I even, besides the mustache, my husband Orlando said, I think Corey's got the best hair out of all the teams on in the Little League World Series. <laughs> I second series. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope, uh, you know, getting him to wash it and style it, but he refused to cut it. Like, it was a thing. He absolutely can't cut it before um, all of this is done. So I don't know. I don't know if he's going to even let us cut it after all this is done, but we'll see. It's so incredible. And I know he yesterday he was kind of playing all the positions. And has it been a minute since he um, he was actually catching yesterday too, right? 
Yeah, and he caught during the season, our regular season. That was one of the things that he's he's a really good catcher. Um, but on this team, they have people that are that they have on this team specifically for different positions. Um, his position on this field, I mean, on this team is primarily to be an outfielder, a left fielder. Um, but he has caught. So yesterday, when Ford Hill um, got a really hard shot to the head from a foul ball, um, and and Ford's doing great, yes, by the way. Ford is doing very well. He was. Um, they were. Che they checked him out during the game, and they checked him again this morning. And so Ford is going to be back uh, playing tonight in the game. But Corey, uh, because of some marrying the marrying rules, they have to pair kids. Uh, Ethan Richardson, who is our second catcher. Um, was not able to go in for that second inning, so they had to have Corey come in. Um, and he's caught, but he's a little, probably a little rusty on that since he just hasn't done it in a few months. But did a great job, and then they put him back in the outfield. Um, he's doing and that's when he had the big catch. A fantastic job for sure, Jennifer and John Kahn. Parents of Corey, we are rooting for the team all the way. Let's take it to Saturday. Thank you. Good Thank luck, y'all. Yes, we definitely want to get to Saturday. We really appreciate everything, all the support from everybody back in Houston. Hopefully you can you can hear the cheers and feel the support. Jen and John, it's great to see you both. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. Y'all have a great day. And go Pearland.